Welcome back. Time now for the skinny. And we start with word of a reunion decades in the making. Potentially getting back together. Chevy Chase, Beverly D'Angelo, who starred together in, of course, the four National Lampoon's vacation movies in the 80s and the 90s. ABC has ordered a pilot script for a sitcom in which Chase and D'Angelo play a married couple, although not necessarily the Griswolds. Part of the plot will be seeing them raising grandchildren. I would love to see that. Yeah. The pilot, at least, will be made with an eye toward 2015-2016 TV season, so stay tuned. Look, Look kids, Big Ben Parliament. Look, kids, we know Dad. <laughs> love that show. That's pretty good. I you, they <laughs> might be hiring, Dad. I've only watched it about 1,700 times. <laughs> Yesterday was the big premiere of the new season of The View, and it kicked off with a, a bit of a tongue-in-cheek sketch with Barbara Walters and the host. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss the ring. Kissing her ring. Whether or not they were actually all together when shooting this scene, that's been the topic of some debate. But then the Gang of Four took their positions on the new set around a much smaller table. Creative. Also noticeably smaller was Rosie O'Donnell, revealing she lost 50 pounds from a gastric sleeve. She sat barefoot in her chair, showing off her pedicure as she and her co-host conversed about serious subject matters, but no fireworks yet. Yet, yes, yes, the operative word on yet there. I love the fact that Barbara Walters is so able to get in on the joke, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, she, she doesn't miss a moment of that. Not at yeah. all, still very much a hand in the view there. So a big honor in store for George Clooney in the upcoming awards season. Clooney will be the recipient of the next Cecil B. DeMille Award at next year's Golden Globes. The awards handed out annually to a person who's made an incredible impact in the world of entertainment. So the Hollywood Foreign Press Association cited Clooney for his achievements on both sides of the camera and in the humanitarian arena, working to help the people of Darfur and Haiti. He does do quite a lot. He does. He was he, very well-rounded. Yes, very well-rounded. But isn't their wedding supposed to be around that time? I think it, yeah. It's, I, they might be a scheduling conflict there. <laughs> we'll send flowers. Okay, well, next up, today is a big day. The Barbara Streisand fans have really been waiting for it. That's right. Babs releasing her latest studio album today, her 34th studio album, in fact, Partners. It's a collection of 12 classic duets, 12 powerhouse male superstars ranging from Stevie Wonder to Billy Joel, John Legend, even through the magic of, magic of technology, Elvis Presley. Our own Robin Roberts sat down with Barbara herself in an interview that will air later this morning on Good Morning America. I just feel as if Barbara Streisand would be awake at this hour. Don't you feel totally. that? Totally. I feel like she's the type of person that only sleeps for like 30 seconds at a time and then gets up and somehow that, saves the world. I think she waits until the afterlife to sleep. <laughs> How can she be this productive? I completely agree. All right, some celebrity birthdays we want to celebrate today. So let's see who's celebrating. The king of blues, B.B. King, turns 89. Master magician, illusionist, David Copperfield, turning 58. Former SNL comedian, actress, Molly Shannon, 50. And fellow SNL funny lady, actress, Amy Poehler, turning 43. A big happy birthday to all of you.